Over the course of the 19th century, the levels of Lake Morte, Neuchâtel, and Beale were lowered and eventually permanently regulated by the construction of a series of canals, river diversions, and forest clearings. Rising water levels were a threat to local Swiss communities, and in order to avoid flooding, the lakes had to be properly maintained. As the waters receded around Lake Beale, the remains of a Bronze Age settlement were discovered, which was later known as the site of Morrigan, named after a nearby town of the same name. The site is about 190 by 120 meters, or about 620 by 390 feet in total area, and the artifacts and burial rites discovered there connect the site to the Urnfield tradition, a series of more localized archaeological cultures which are generally united by the practice of burning the dead and placing the remains in urns, which were then buried in fields, hence the designation Urnfield. The site itself and the associated artifacts date between about 900 and about 800 BC. Of particular note here are the arrowheads discovered at the site, including one which is now, as of June 2023, confirmed to be made of meteoric iron. Across northern Africa and Eurasia, prior to the spread of iron working technology, tools and weapons and other objects made of iron derived from meteors show up at various sites in Turkey, Greece, Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, Egypt, Iran, Russia, and China. And in total, there are 54 objects made from meteoric iron prior to the development of iron working in any of those regions. But in Europe itself, there are only three confirmed objects. An axe head, and two bracelets, all discovered in Poland, and now this arrowhead from Switzerland, which brings the total up to four. What's remarkable about this particular arrowhead is not necessarily that it's made of meteoric iron while the rest are made of bronze, although that's still impressive. Rather, what stands out is where the meteorite in question came from. At first, it was thought that the iron used came from the Twanberg meteorite, the largest one in Switzerland and which fractured into a number of pieces weighing in total about 150 kilograms which would then explain the presence of an object crafted from meteoric iron in the area. However, tests conducted with spectrometers and electron microscopes showed that the properties of the arrowhead and the properties of that meteorite do not match. Instead, the iron probably comes from the Kaliarv meteorite located in Estonia, which is known to have a Bronze Age impact sometime between 1870 in 1440 BC, although there is other evidence which pushes the date of the impact back to maybe 6400 BC at the very earliest. The Morrigan arrowhead has a nickel concentration of about 7%, which closely matches the meteorite's nickel concentration of about 8%, and similar amounts of cobalt and gallium were present in both. Other meteorites tested were either too high or too low in terms of the nickel content in other metals, and the gamma ray spectrometry shows that the aluminum present in the arrowhead came from a meteorite which was shielded from cosmic rays to a higher degree than other meteorites entering the Earth's atmosphere. The Kaliarv meteorite is the only one which matches those levels. What makes this so interesting is that that particular meteorite is in Estonia which means that the shard that was eventually transformed into the Morrigan arrowhead had to be transported across Europe. It very likely got to its final location via an ancient trade route known as the Amber Road, which moved various goods, but mainly amber, hence the name, from northeastern Europe towards the south and southwest, to the Black Sea, the Near East, and the Mediterranean. In exchange, glass, tin, copper, and brass items moved back north, especially during the Roman period. The find caused a great deal of excitement among archaeologists who specialize in the topic, and it's likely that over the coming months more artifacts will be examined to see if they contain traces of meteoric iron. While this probably will not rewrite the history of the European Bronze Age, curiosities like the Morrigan Arrowhead still remain fascinating and, if nothing else, attest to the connectivity of what would otherwise appear to be solitary archaeological sites.